back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kim and I go by Kim or Kiss here on YouTube. So today we are doing a video about how I go about receiving third eye visions. And I've been getting tons and tons of questions about this. And let me first explain what third eye vision is. So what a third eye vision is, is your third eye is right here. In between your eyebrows, it's back in your brain this way. And it's basically the same form of an eyeball. It's actually used for many, many purposes. But today I'm going to talk about the psychic purposes that you can use it for if you haven't, you know, had these experiences already. So if you are able to see ghosts or spirits, your third eye probably is already open. You have access to your third eye anytime that you request it. Anytime that you're meditating, if you want to receive messages, you can ask your spirit team of light to send you third eye messages. And what these will appear as, and I'm just going to simply explain how they appear for me, is they appear like either a photo in front of your face, just as if you were imagining it, but it will show more like real life. So it'll be like an overlay of your real life right in front of you. So it'll either be in the form of a photo or of almost like a movie playing out right in front of you. Now remote viewing, how I've experienced this is it's everything's in the shape of a circle like this right here. And when I have these experiences, I'm usually in a very high vibrational state, a very relaxed state where I have been meditating and I have been channeling or doing automatic writing, and then they'll simply flow through. Or they will happen abruptly and suddenly without me even expecting it. But what they show is a circle right in front of my eyes, and it'll take me to a place that I've either maybe have seen before, or it's usually a some place that I have never seen. They're usually higher dimensional places. For example, I had one remote viewing when I just actually done a reading. It was one of the readings that's on my Etsy page. If you haven't checked those out, definitely do. I believe there's four or five now, maybe even six, because I am in the process. I already filmed one, but I just have to upload it. They're very fair prices, and they're each about an hour long. They include DNA upgrades, light codes, shameless plug right now, but they include DNA upgrades, light codes, light language, like very high frequencies that I have channeled in a way to share with you because as a star seed i'm here to raise the vibration of all of humanity and the planet and the world these are available on my etsy page if you're interested they're very high vibrational they're very dna activating and they will open up many light codes and downloads for you so i do highly recommend you at least check out the page it'll be listed in the description box below and just see if anything resonates most of those readings are timeless, so anytime that you're drawn to purchase one or view one, they are timeless. Anytime that you're drawn to watch one means that you're meant to watch it because there is something in there that's going to unlock something for you that's very high vibrational, something that you need to hear and witness. So that's very exciting. So one of the ones that I had while doing one of the readings for you guys is I had this one that was like this and I was almost like flying around this mountain, this really steep mountain that had snow and rocks and almost like rainbows along the side of it. And I was just flying across this mountain, the side of this mountain, and I was going underneath the rainbows. And then I came across this portal and this portal was in the shape of a triangle, a visual, like a pyramid almost, okay? And see the spiral at the top here? that spiral. Well, it, there was a spiral inside the triangle, but it was the shape of the triangle. So it was like this. And I saw that out of it actually was shooting a rainbow itself. So I decided to go through. So I jump on this rainbow and I like slide down it almost like a fireman's pole. And I slide down and then I hit this other portal. And it looked like a mirror that had these weird shaped rocks and crystals all around it. And the mirror itself looked like this like the sky of stars like the cosmos but it was blue very blue like a mm, like a color like this like a deeper blue and so i proceeded to go through that 
well, it broke. It was like a mirror. It was a mirror portal. It shattered. I went through that and then I saw another portal that was in the shape of a circle. And this one looked to me like the sky. There was clouds. It was blue. So I went through that. And as soon as I went through that, there was a big splash. And I went underwater and I came back up and there were clouds alongside of me. Very cottony almost, very light and airy, but I was able to hold on to them and float. And when I held on to them, they felt, you know, exactly like cotton, like a light cotton, but I was able to float onto them. And I was just floating with the ocean. And it was like, almost like as above, so below. It was like the cosmic ocean, but it looked like the sky and I literally fell into the sky. And it was so intense and so beautiful and it really meant a lot to me to have that vision. And since then I've been receiving more, but that's the main one I'll talk about today. So if you've ever had visions of almost like flying or being somewhere where you know you're not at your present moment, you could be accessing parallel timelines, you could be simply, you know, astral traveling somewhere. But it'll play out like a movie in front of you, almost like a circle. This is how it's happened for me. That's remote viewing, and that's also with your third eye. But many things can happen. When I have visions of spirits, when I see ghosts or spirits, I can either see them like you or me, like an actual person. I had an experience like that in a friend's house that I used to live in. I opened the bedroom door and there was a little boy with a comb over. He had suspenders on, old-fashioned clothing, high black stockings, little black shoes, a white uh, baby collar t-shirt. And he looked right at me and as soon as I saw him, in a, like about three seconds, he smiled at me and he disappeared. So you can see them in human form or you can see them how I see them also is as like a cloud of smoke like um almost like clouds but in smoke and they're kind of whirl around i'll see them that way um i'll also see them as like little flashes here or there and that's how i know like either fairies elementals are around or spirits or angels or my light beings that guide me my galactic beings that guide me um which of many are arcturian and also mintakan but um, in Lyran, but there's many more. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of everything for you guys to help explain. Um, when I see spirits, um, also, I used to see them in a store that I used to work at that was very haunted. If you haven't seen that, it was it's like the video called The Haunted Place That I Ever Worked At. I'll link it down below in the description box, but if you wanna check it out, if that's something you're interested in. But I would see them almost like when you take a picture and there's that after flash well i would see their aura and their spirit and their body as that after flash picture almost like someone took a photo and then i looked away and once i looked away i saw the after flash that's how i will see them as well and they'll move and they'll do things um so yeah it's really really interesting when i'm doing my tarot readings for you guys when i'm doing the cards when I receive everything, I, I, I'm very, I have almost all the clairs, so it's very overwhelming for me sometimes, but as I've learned to connect with my spirit guides and ask for them to take on the energies, it's less overwhelming and draining for me. But I will be have I will be bombarded sometimes with lots of messages and voices and pictures and things and movies almost that want to come through and get my attention and say things and do things and a lot of it's clear audio and a lot of it is visual and a lot of it I feel because I'm an empath as well um, I'll get like physical sensations but when I'm doing the readings and specifically with the third eye. I will see something as if I am there, as if I am viewing it like a movie playing out in front of me. For example, I was doing a reading for a good friend and I saw him standing there looking down at the ground at his favorite area by his home. So I literally saw him looking down and having that vision, okay? Um, I saw another vision of a guy that was very, very upset. Um, and very distraught, he was smoking and he was, you know, stomping his feet on the ground and kind of cursing to the air. And that was, you know, somebody that they knew. 
Um, I don't name names for confidentiality purposes, but you guys get the gist. It's like a movie playing out in front of me where I'll just see visions of things. For example, colors, sounds, smells, tastes, um, basically all the senses. When it comes to the third eye, I will see a lot of colors. I'll see a lot of symbolism, even sometimes a symbol that represents something. I'll see maybe an animal, like a cat, and that represents something. I was doing a reading for a friend and kept seeing a vision, seeing a vision of a name, and the name was Melissa, and Melissa meant the bee, and the bee had to do with animals and like having that connection to them. There's so many examples, but I'm trying to name more. But what I will see is a detailed vision of a movie playing out in front of me is the best way that I can describe it. And you can do this. It just takes practice. Another thing that you can check is with your natal birth chart. If you know how to go to read your natal birth chart galactically, that's amazing. If not, I definitely recommend booking a session with a person that can read a galactic natal chart because they will find signatures and markings within your natal chart that will show if you are more prevalent to psychic downloads. We are all psychic. We all have the ability to see visions with our third eyes. Just some of us have more of those, you know, markings and I don't know, like cracks in between the dimensions that we can see through. That's all I'm going to say about that. I definitely recommend that if it's something that you're interested in. But we all have these gifts of being able to open our third eye and see with our third eye and a lot of it takes simply going into a place where it's quiet as a car drives by going into a place where it's quiet and really sitting and meditating with your energy and calling in your galactic team of light to help assist with the visions and i definitely recommend keeping either a phone close by or a notebook where you can write down what you are seeing because these are pieces of the puzzle and these are things that will eventually down the line click for you. I've had so many examples of that where I'll receive a vision or a series of visions that at the time make no sense whatsoever, but then later on they all line up in a row and then I can make perfect sense of what the message is they were trying to relate to me. So it's really, really exciting ways to go about receiving these messages, but the number one way, like I said, is to meditate and just see what visions come through. And as they're coming through, write them down because I promise you the first time that you do this, you will receive many, 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 especially if you're contacting your spirit team of light for the first time, you will receive many downloads because they've probably been trying to get your attention and get you to sit in quiet because that's not the way that society is in order for you to forget who you are in your nature. So when you do sit with your spirit team of light, you will receive many, many downloads, especially the first time. So please keep a notebook by. You will receive messages and visions. And if you ask them to assist you in opening your third eye and getting that chakra spinning and assisting you, they will and call on your beings of light and love and the highest good for you and say a prayer of protection and you will be fine. You will receive everything that you need to in divine timing. Everyone is different. Everyone receives third eye visions a different way. We're all unique. We're all different. We're all separate beings of source. This right here, all of this is an illusion. Your body, your appearance, the way you speak, the things that you love to do, all of it is an illusion. The only thing that isn't an illusion is your soul essence, which is an aspect of God's source himself. We're all different aspects of him. So we all experience things in a different way in order for him to see things in a different perspective and conglomerate all of them into one, into a way he can make sense of everything as we do for us. I hope that helps. I know it's a lot of information. I know this was kind of all over the place, you guys, but this was the best way that I could describe it from my perspective to you. And you will have a different perspective in the way that you experience things. So if this video resonated with you and you've experienced things similar to myself, give this a like. If you haven't, also give this a like and please share any experiences 
if they're not too personal to you in the comments below and share your experiences to let others know how you've experienced opening up your third eye. What tricks worked for you? What tips work for you? What do you see? What do you experience? Let me know, let everyone know in the comments below. I would love to hear, I would love to know, and I would also love to help you if you have any questions at all. You can also email me if you want to keep it more confidential. I'm open to that. My email is kimberkiss28 at gmail.com if you have any questions or need any tips or any help or guidance with this. Um, you can also do, there's tutorials here on YouTube to activate your third eye and to access that and to open it up. So definitely check those out. Get your chakras in balance because I promise you, you can do it yourself. Your team of light will help you. And that is the best way is calling in your team of light. I can't stress it enough. Your galactic team of light, your spirit guides, your higher self. These are all aspects of you, just higher dimensions. So they'll be able to open things up a little bit quicker and in a little bit higher of a vibrational frequency, but it'll really assist you along your spiritual journey. And that is the main point. So that way you can spread your knowledge onto others and help them as well and do good service to others because that's what it's all about. So I love you guys so much. I hope this video helped you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you. I would love to get to know you. I'll be doing more live streams and third eye readings. I'll be doing more tutorials on how I do certain things when it comes to my psychic abilities in order to help you guys. And just so we can share information and spread the knowledge out to others and then they can share theirs. It's like a domino effect and it's really exciting. And this is what the Great Awakening is all about. The Golden Age, the Age of Aquarius, the Age of Light. It's all coming into fruition and we're all a piece of it and play an important role. So I love you all so much. I hope you're all having a wonderful week, a great day, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Guys.